Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For starters, I'd like to say these are not current dive clips. I'm resurrecting some old clips, trying to get some diving videos out. Our state is currently on a stay in place order. It's a very, very soft lockdown. Most places are still considered essential. Many places are still open. But I have a child that his immune system isn't the best. I just don't feel it's worth the risk of going out right now to check those dumpsters. And in all honesty, if a cop were to stop me in a dumpster right now with us being in a stay in place order and only essentials are supposed to be getting done, I have a feeling I would end up with a pretty hefty fine. Um, they're actually saying misdemeanors could be happening if you're doing something that's not essential. Um, where do they draw the line of what's essential and what's not essential? I don't know, and I don't want to take that risk. It's just not worth it. So I am resurrecting some old dive clips. Um, with having two channels, I did have some dumpster dives on the other channel. So I'm able to take those off the other channel, move them over here, so I can still put some diving videos up. So that's what I'm doing. But I hope you guys are all staying safe. I hope you guys are all staying sane. I know I miss normal life. I miss normalcy. Can't wait for it to come back. Um, it's amazing to see what people are coming up with, what people are doing. My kids with Taekwondo, their Taekwondo teacher has started doing Zoom um, virtual lessons at home, which is amazing. The kids get to see each other, talk to each other. It's a little bit of normalcy. It's so sad, though, to see like my daughter, who's in her preteens, break down in tears when she sees the little kids that she was helping teach. It's just really hard, this new normalcy, this new normal that we're going through, um, watching what the kids are having to deal with. They're suffering. This is not normal. It's hard for us, but it's really hard for the kids because they just don't fully understand it. Um, we're just trying to stay busy here. We're doing a lot of Legos. We're doing a lot of board games. We're just doing a lot of stuff just to keep the kids as busy as possible, keep them distracted from the realities of life right now. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot. But we're just trying to stay as busy as possible, trying to get through this. Together, we'll make it through, guys. Just stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay sane. Find something that you enjoy doing. Pick up a new habit. Pick up a new hobby. And just enjoy it. Same thing I've been saying on my other channel, guys. Enjoy the time with your family. A lot of us were on the go, 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 go all the time. So we didn't find time to spend with our families. We didn't have that quality time with our families. We're like, hey, we went, to, we went and did everything with our kids, but were you really spending the quality time with them? Many of us are going to say no. I know I can say no, even though I did Taekwondo with the kids and I did so much with them, I still didn't spend that quality one-on-one -on -one time. And this time at home has definitely strengthened a bond. We've definitely grown closer through it. So take this time, sit down and play a board game, slow down, slow down. If any of you are essential workers, if any of you are in the front line, um, my husband works in law enforcement, so he is still on the front line. But if you are nurses, doctors, thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you're doing. Thank you for going out there and trying to do your best to stop this pandemic, to save the lives that you can save. And I really do appreciate you. But if you're new here, guys, please consider hitting that subscribe, ringing the bell so you don't miss future uploads. I'd love having you here, and we'll dive on in. Right there, the Fago Pops. We're going to grab those out. A couple little things in there, we'll grab them out. We are at the PetSmart dumpster. Look at all those bags of food. Oh, should be fun considering it's snowing, guys. It's Indiana. So the dumpsters are wet. They're a little slick, but I can't leave all that. Wow, guys. I need to double check to make sure there aren't recalls on this food because there were just bags and bags and bags. I left probably six of them because I can't get them. But look back there in the back of my car. All of that wellness. I don't know if there's a recall. I didn't find one when I looked fast. If not, that was a score. Awesome. Hello everyone and welcome back to R5 Adventures. 
you had seen the clips of what I saw inside the dumpsters. You didn't get to see the end results of what I pulled out. I'm about to show you now what I pulled out. It was insane. So I started out at Dollar Tree. That was my first stop. And I was pretty happy with what I found. There were five of the Faco Orange. They are not expired. One can gets damaged. They throw the whole four pack away. There's, I believe, 16 of the Fago Colas. And then there's six of those Fago Sprites. So it wasn't that bad of a score. Plus, I found these holiday signs. There's four of them. Just some snowman sleds. Nothing wrong with them. This Santa bucket. Then there's some moist wipes. I can always use that with dumpster diving. Some Glad snack bags. And then two boxes of cheese nips. Those were not expired. The boxes were just damaged. Well, I didn't even finish my dumpster dive. I went to PetSmart next. I've already checked. This stuff is not recalled. I don't know if they quit carrying them or what, but I went to PetSmart and this is what I found. Look at all that food. I think it's 326 pounds is what it comes down to. Well, let's see what we got here. We got two bags of this grain-free indoor cat food, salmon and herring meal recipe. They're 11.5 pounds each. We got one bag of this Wellness Core grain-free puppy food that is 12 pounds each. There's actually two of those. I thought there was one. There's two. There is one bag of this large breed Wellness Core puppy food. It's the bone chicken, chicken meal, and turkey meal recipe. 24 pounds. There's two bags of this Wellness Core grain-free senior food, which is the bone turkey, chicken meal, and turkey meal recipe. Those are 24 pounds, and there's two of those. Then there is four pound or four bags of the Complete Health Wellness Limited Ingredient Grain Free Adult Salmon and Potato Recipe. That's 24 pounds in each bag. Then we have Complete Health Small Breed Healthy Weight, which is the bone turkey and brown rice recipe. Those are 12 pounds per bag. There are three of those. I gave one away actually already. So there's one missing of the stack. Then we have this Core Raw Rev Wild Game Adult Duck and Lamb Meal. That's 12 pounds. There's the Core Wellness Grain Free Original, the Bone Turkey, Turkey Meal and Chicken Recipe. Um, don't believe if it says adult or anything, but there's two bags of that, 12 pounds each. Then there's this stuff back here. There's the Core Raw Rev Small Breed Original, the Bone Turkey, Turkey Meal and Chicken Recipe, Adult Small Breed. There are two four pound bags and there are two 12 pound bags. Then we have the last bag here, which is the Wellness Core Grain Free Small Breed the Bone Turkey Turkey Meal Recipe, 12 pounds. That one is the only bag of that variety, and I kept it down like that because I did rip a hole in that one as I got it out. None of these were sliced. None of these were sliced in the dumpster, which is amazing for PetSmart. So, why they threw this all out? I don't know. I've already looked online. I was also called a different pet petco asking if wellness was recalled at all because I fed it to my dogs. And they told me no. Online does not have a recall. So this was just an amazing, amazing score. Okay guys. I couldn't resist. I had left that dog food in the dumpster and I went back the next day. I had to get it. I could not let that stuff go to the landfill. It's just, it's too good to go to the landfill. It can be used. We can really use it with three big dogs that eat a lot of food. 
Plus, I got another score the same day I got that dog food later on in the day from Aldi's. So I'm going to include that clip in this video so you can see what I also got from Aldi's that day. Come along, let's see what else we got. I hope you enjoy the video. So, for starters, we're going to show you the dog food we did get from PetSmart the following day. That's what was left. One four-pound bag of the small breed I did give away. So that is not in the video. But we have a Wellness Complete Health Small Breed 12-pound bag, healthy weight. Two bags of this Wellness Core Grain-Free Senior 12-pound bags. A bag of the Wellness Complete Health Grain-Free Adult. That's a 12-pound bag. A Wellness Core Raw Raw Rav Raw Rav 10 pound bag of the Wild Game That is 10 pounds, not 12 pounds like I originally stated A bag of the Wellness Core Grain Free Puppy That's 12 pounds A bag of the Wellness Complete Health Limited Ingredient Grain Free Adult 24 pounds and also a bag of this Wellness Core Large Breed Grain Free Puppy, 24 pounds. This is an awesome, awesome score. We have three dogs that eat a ton of food. We go through a lot of food. And this is just a great brand of food as well. So I'm so thankful that we found this. This was a great score. Then I went to Aldi's, like I said, the day I got the original score. And in their dumpster, they had this. The apple cinnamon applesauce pouches. There are six boxes of 24 counts, so just under 150 pouches. This was in the dumpster. It was a return. I'm guessing someone bought it for trick-or-treaters. We had snow and nastiness on Halloween. So not many people went out trick-or-treating, so this is probably what did not get handed out, and they returned it. Store had to throw it away. It is good until December of 2020, so it is good for almost a full year. My kids have already started eating them, so they won't last that long. But another amazing score, they're the Halloween-themed apple cinnamon applesauce from Aldi's. And... I can't complain. Awesome score. All in all, we did find some amazing stuff these last two days. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, if you're interested in dumpster diving, check your local laws. Indiana, it is legal to dumpster dive. Make sure you're checking into your laws if you're interested in dumpster diving. Have a great day, guys. Remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in this content. And we will catch you on the next one.